This film that you're about to see brings me back to my roots, those closet memories and faded dreams that I've re been uh, recording for so many years. Uh, this is found about a year ago in a flea market in Sacramento. And um, I have no idea who the family Snyder actually is, just what I found on the uh, film boxes. But... Um, uh, maybe somebody out there might recognize them and be able to tell us a little more about who they were. Because they seemed like they had a, a lot of fun. At any rate, enjoy the movie. Hi, my name is George Myhall. This is the Office of Image Archaeology, and you're looking at uh, one Dale Snyder, a young man living off of uh, 3318 X Street in Sacramento. Um, and uh, this is his younger brother Barry and he's at the 1956 State Fair at the old, sta uh, the old uh, State Fairgrounds in Sacramento, California. And that is a thing called the Rocco Plane. I apologize for the condition of part of this video, uh, this particular part uh, here. Uh, uh, it's because uh, something to do with the camera. It wasn't uh, the uh, film processor, uh, that was Mercury's, and they do a good job. But you can tell that um, this was occurring in the camera because the sprocket hole stayed um, nice and steady while the, while the, uh, the image jumped around. So. This is a camera problem. I love these old rides. Don't know if they have these uh, at the uh, fairgrounds anymore, or new fairgrounds, old fairgrounds. Uh, I guess carnival, carnival rides. Um, I haven't been to one for many years now, so maybe they still happen. But um, it's probably uh, Evelyn or Lewis that is on the camera here. I remember that particular ride. I love that thing. I can't remember what the name of it was. But uh, Lewis and Evelyn Snyder are the parents of Dale and Barry Snyder. Dale being the older brother. Get a view of the rooftops of the uh, old state fairgrounds. It's off of Stockton Boulevard in Sacramento. And there's the old water tank out there off of Stockton. It's still there. And um, I don't know what that water, I don't know if it's water or not. This is the uh, Circus Cafe right below right there. I don't know if that's uh, water out by the racetrack or not. Or if that's even the racetrack, I'm not. I'm, I'm not I'm just not familiar with this area. I stopped the film just so that people can kind of get an idea of where where this is at, what direction it's pointing. It was neat that they took the camera aboard this uh, small Ferris, Ferris wheel. Another view of, uh, of part of the um, fairgrounds. Yeah, and that's young Dale, he's on um, his uh, unicycle there and he's doing pretty good. That's his 
1948 Chrysler right there that he drives around a lot. And that's the house at 3318 X Street, and it hasn't changed much. Different color, it's gray instead of dark green. That tree grew up. memories I have of a unicycle are the bruises I carried for about a month. It was never very coordinated. I see a rambler back there a little ways. I see right there is a rambler I think. Lombard Street in San Francisco. Uh, very few flowers on Lombard Street here. And driving that 48 Chrysler again. Great car. Some place in San Francisco. And you get a, a little bit of a drive with the interior view of his 48 Chrysler. And I, I believe this is Highway 101. I've driven that a lot myself and uh, this just really looks like 101 uh, up near Percy or Windsor area. I think they're on their way up to um, Possibly Eureka because at the end of this drive there they visit a, um, a lumber camp or lumber I'm sorry not a lumber camp it's a lumber mill It almost looks like, some, I don't, I'm not even guess. I have no idea what that was. But again, this looks like, uh, really looks like the scenery that you'd see up there. Looks like they're building, um, putting piers in for a, a bridge or something down there. There you go, the big huge furnace. They burn the uh, wood chips in. They used to burn the wood chips in. I don't think anybody, uh, I don't think any place in, uh, in the United States has seen that kind of thing in a lot of years. There are some scenes that are a little dark inside here and some I had to remove con entirely because uh, there was just nothing to see. It was so dark. But I was able to lighten up some of the other scenes and uh, at least so that you can see what's going on. Uh, it would have been nice if they had a light on that camera for the inside shots. But we got what we got and we can thank them for this. Possibly somebody can identify where this is at. But I'm pretty sure it's around the Eureka area, 
someplace or maybe even north of there. Amazing how this stuff works. Turning a tree into two by fours, two by sixes, and four by fours, and two by twelves, and four by sixes, all for home construction and fences and building buildings in general. furniture. This is uh, about Ten years before um, those young folks start pounding railroad spikes into trees to destroy the saws and the lumber mills, I think. P&H is the crane manufacturer, or if it has something to do with the name of the lumber mill, I couldn't find anything under that. But uh, I couldn't read the other um, the other words on that sign, so maybe somebody can help us out. Where is this? Nowadays with OSHA, everybody's got, <laughs> with OSHA and uh, with um, this bug that's going around, they would be wearing a mask, safety glasses, and helmets. That's a, a pretty uh, rudimentary scuba diving outfit he got there. I've never been scuba diving, but that um, looks pretty old. I don't know what uh, paddle wheel boat, boat this is. I wasn't able to find, um, identify it. All it says is river cruises on board. Uh, on the side there, I don't know, possibly something something on the pilot house, but I couldn't read that. So maybe somebody out there will know what this is as well. I thought they called it the Delta Queen for a while. I thought that I thought they had one that was called the Delta Queen for a while. That ran up and down the river, but wasn't actually the Delta Queen, or not the original at any rate. I think I've seen this spot on the river before. I think there's a, I think there's a uh, campground there now, just up on top. And there's Dale, and looks like a friend of his, coming down the hill. And again, I don't know where this is at. Um, remember, this is um, a 1958, possibly. Maybe as far as 1960. So um, 
trying to remember what was around at the time, this almost looks to me like this is Marysville. Um, Yuba City area, well, Marysville, I guess, uh, under the bridge down there. I know that they were doing, they've done for years, they've been in a, a place down there to ride motorcycles, but I don't know how far back that goes. could be West Sacramento, um, but I don't remember any place that has all that gravel. old bikes. I've had um, four different bikes in my life, but um, Clint Eastwood had a great saying, every man should know his limits, and by God mine is four wheels or better. And every bike I've ever owned I've crashed on. Certainly having fun, I'll give him that. Uh, well, it's got a lot of power to be pulling around. He pulls around uh, two skiers in part of this film. Uh, I think this is it. Yes, there we go. Two. That's out at Folsom Lake. My dog sneezing. If the microphone picked it up. I don't know who, uh, well, I, I discovered these films at a, um, uh, a flea market under the freeway in uh, off of W Street, I got W and X Streets here in Sacramento uh, some time ago, a couple of years ago, I guess. And the only thing I can find about um, Lewis is that he was uh, buried at the uh, Oddfellow Cemetery in Sacramento in 1996, I believe. Maybe somebody knows something about that building back there. It looks like a church almost, a church. Uh, maybe it's part of the, uh, the school, I'm not sure, because now that I know that there is a, a uh, a school down there, a high school down there. But maybe somebody can tell us uh, a little bit about that tower and the, um, 
what happened to it. There's Lois Snyder and his wife, Evelyn. They're fishing just outside of uh, uh, outside the Golden Gate, I think, um, is where they're at. Because there's a um, a lighthouse coming up here shortly, and it's the uh, Point Bonita Lighthouse um, off of uh, Sausalito. There it is. I don't believe that radio tower is there anymore in the pictures I've seen. Well, it's possible, I suppose. Sausalito now. I've been on the streets up there by them houses, and I'll tell you what, man, that's some skinny streets. New house construction. Those are some skinny streets up there. Um, there's the chief. I wonder if that guy, I wonder if he calls himself the chief. <laughs> His boat is the chief, I know that. If you like this video, please leave a like. Um, YouTube algorithms, the way they are, unless people put a like on the film, they tend to uh, die on the vine and don't go anywhere. And um, I don't get paid very much at all through YouTube in the first place. So trying to uh, do something that would help pay for some of these things. All this is out of my own pocket, so. Um, I think this is, it just looks like um, Prairie City uh, RV Park. Now, I know that that started in about 1973 or 74, I can't remember, but um, this really does look like that area, uh, just um, outside of Aerojet. In fact, it was Aerojet land at one time, uh, maybe even while, while this is happening. But that's, where, that's what it looks like. Uh, maybe somebody can identify it a little bit better for us. Yep, four wheels are better. I cracked my noggin too many times riding them damn things. Um, I understand that uh, Chris Craft used to give those things away. I was, um, I was told this blonde model here, uh, blonde version, was a Chris Craft uh, giveaway. When you buy a boat, they would give you one of these. 
uh, for a while there out at Folsom Lake, of course. Yeah, I guess that's across the street from uh, the uh, from the um, X Street house that uh, the Snyders live in, across the alley, rather. Somebody didn't want to be seen. And uh, this is a uh, cliff house coming up here. This is the beach across from Playland that doesn't exist anymore. And now Cliff House doesn't exist anymore. I was just uh, reading the other day where they've closed it permanently because of um, this uh, bug that's going around. And uh, I don't want to say a whole lot about that, but uh, anyway. And I, I guess this is still Playland right here, but uh, there's there's uh, not very much going on. There wasn't very much going on in the 60s, I guess, or maybe maybe it's not Playland. I don't know. There's young Barry Snyder, and I sure had a a long acquaintance with one of those mowers, a little rotary mower. Hand power did it. It was um. You didn't have to put no gas in it, it didn't cost anything, just go out and grab it and a glass of nice sweet tea and go to work. Of course where I lived at it was all flat ground anyway. Remember if you like this video, please leave a like folks and subscribe if you will. Pass it along, tell other people about it. And have a good time. Take care.